Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our joint webinar. MyPV and Grobat, we are doing the presentation together. We would like to show you the benefits of the combination of our two brands. While Grobat is a manufacturer of PV inverters, MyPV is a manufacturer of uh, power to heat solutions for residential applications. And together, we uh, can be combined to increase the PV self-consumption ratio in an on-grid system to an absolute maximum. And this is what it's all about today. So welcome again. Um, I would like to start with a short introduction. My name is uh, Reinhard Hofstetter. I'm uh, at MyPV for five years now. And before I uh, started at MyPV in the company, I worked in the field of research of conventional solar thermal systems. So I'm pretty aware of all the details of uh, pipes and pumps and thermal collectors and expansion vessels and antifreezing liquid and all that stuff that is required. And from that point of view, it's um, it became clear to us that this conventional old fashioned solar thermal uh, systems, they are now uh, no longer yeah, up to date. Today we have uh, cables instead of pipes. We are using power directly from solar PV now. Instead of solar thermal systems, we are using the power from solar PV. And in doing so, we are making the whole system many times easier. And nowadays we make it also cheaper. So the gentlemen uh, above me on these slides, uh, there are Dr. Gerhard Rimpler, there is Dr. Gerhard Rimpler, he's uh, the managing director from MyPV and uh, his basic knowledge is the base for our developments, for our solution, for our solutions. Um, he um, invented the PV inverter division in a big Austrian PV inverter company and uh, from this side, he has the basic know-how for the um, for the creation of the MyPV solutions, and he uh, in, started with MyPV ten years ago. Um, in between, there's our colleague uh, Talal Bat. Um, Talal, please introduce yourself now. Yeah, thank you, Reinhard. So from my side, I have been as a background electrical engineer and worked as a testing commissioning engineer in a petrochemical plant. And later I oriented my career towards renewable energy. So I specialized in solar energy from a university in Germany. And for last year, I have been handling the international sales at my PV. And I have provided my email address. You will get the slide. With the slide, you will get my email address. And I will be your contact person in terms of sales. So. Don't hesitate in terms, if you have any questions, you can uh, look forward to me. And now I will I will be in the chat as we will be conducting the webinar. So if you have any questions, you can just drop down your questions in the chat box and I will be there to answer it. And thanks, Reinhard, over to you. Thank you, Talal. Um... And um, yeah, I will send you the slides of the today's presentation after the session. And uh, at this moment, you will also receive my contact data. So while Talal is your direct contact for uh, questions on sales, I'm available for all the technical uh, questions that might be there. No problem. We can do this also on a later stage. And uh, if there are questions from your side during the webinar right now, enter it in the chat room and uh, please enter it in a way that all the participants can see your questions because they also benefit from the conversation in the chat. Okay, just a short overview. MyPV is uh, relatively young. We were founded by Dr. Rimpler 10 years ago. So the latest milestone this year is our 10 year anniversary and we are going to move our company into a new building. We have to increase the production um, capacities because the whole um, topic which we are dealing with, hot water and space heating from photovoltaics, has now uh, reached the hearts and minds of the people. 
when we started 10 years ago, this was uh, relatively new. The people um, were not aware that this is possible. They were used to work with solar thermal systems. Uh, using PV power now was, um, was something completely new. They were skeptic. But uh, during the last 10 years, this has completely changed. And now we are also increasing our production capacities and also the office area for our new colleagues because we are, um, yeah, we are increasing um, also our staff uh, regularly. Okay, uh, enough from my side. Before I start with uh, the main part from my PV, I want like to hand over to Juning. And um, thanks for the for the joint webinar today, Juning. It's uh, the <laughs> second time that we are doing this together. Last time was in German. Uh, happy to have you with us. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for the nice words. Um, uh, I'm happy to be here. Um, yeah, and uh, I will be representing Grovat for this webinar, for this joint webinar with uh, my PV. So um, yeah, let's let's get on. Um, first, I want to introduce you a little bit to, to the company. Uh, firstly, about myself. Um, as you can see, this is my name. Um, I you, um, I don't have the right pronunciation, so I actually don't care how, how you pronounce it. Uh, I I grew up in Germany, uh, as you can maybe tell from my thick German accent. But um, yeah. Um, I, uh, you can call me what you want, Yuling Su or Xu Jinning or whatever. <laughs> this is a, uh, I, I don't really care. Uh, I've been working for Grover for yeah, a little over one year now. And uh, yeah, I'm a technical engineer um, for Grover Europe, um, especially for German. Um, I studied electrical engineering with, um, yeah, with, with a specialty um, to, with, uh, for photovoltaics uh, and renewable energies. And yeah, this is my little story and uh, I graduated last year so um, I don't have so much on my Vita as uh, my other two colleagues have. Um, a little bit about Grovat. Uh, Grovat is a renewable energy company um, and uh, it's dedicated to uh, 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 PV inverters mostly but um, also energy storages, microgrid system and uh, smart, energy, uh, smart energy management solutions um, yeah our headquarter um, is in Shenzhen the Asian Silicon Valley it was founded in 2010 we've got an experienced R&D team with yeah uh, it's up to date with the, all the um, electronic industry um, we're an international high-tech uh, high company so um, we are uh, operating worldwide um, with uh, as I said already, uh, the main focus on high efficiency solar inverters. And our inverters are installed in yeah, now over one, over 100 countries worldwide and yeah, with an upticking trend. So uh, here you can see our, uh, our headquarter uh, in Shenzhen, but um, we have got also offices and warehouses uh, in all the important markets as of right now. Um, as you can see, um, I'm sitting here in an office in Frankfurt, um, to, but homework to be precise. But um, as you can see, we, we are focused on Europe right uh, at the moment, but we also have uh, brand offices in um, America, LA, Guadalajara in uh, Mexico, and uh, also in Brazil in Mogistar Cruces. So, um, yeah. Um, for there, there are a lot of um, prejudice about um, Chinese company, um, and Grover is aware of that, and um, uh, Grover is also aware of the, uh, of their social responsibility. Um, so um, we've got um, the SA eight thousand certification, which is the leading standard for social and labor standards. So um, yeah, you. <laughs> Our laborers, our workers are actually um, being treated well, um, which is not, unfortunately not always the case for uh, a company yeah, this size. So, yeah, this is our office in um, uh, Bad Homburg, which is like 15 minutes away from Frankfurt. Um, as you can see, this is the entry, um, our uh, German hotline where you can uh, yeah, ask uh, where you or the customer can ask questions uh, about our devices need, uh, 
getting a bias um, in German during the weekdays. We've got a little training center where where our inverters are installed. Every uh, yes, one of every kind. Um, we've got batteries installed, so you can see on hand what kind of batteries, uh, what kind of devices you're using. And um, if, you, if you're nearby, you're also welcome to visit us and get a little training. But um, yeah, as far as the uh, health regulations and the current situation allows. And we've also got a service stock. Um, yeah, this is, as you can see, uh, this is, we were operating uh, on behalf uh, for whole of Germany, plus uh, some other countries nearby. And you can see um, the, the stock is there, but it's not that much. So um, even though we are operating in uh, Europe, um, we, we don't need to replace the devices so often. So um, this, this stock is enough for us. So I think that's it from, uh, from, from right now. And uh, I'm coming back to why not. Yeah, thank you, Chuning, for this uh, short introduction. Uh, we will hear uh, more from uh, Grovat after my main part now. And as I already mentioned, the topic from my PV is hot water and space heating from photovoltaics. We are a manufacturer, I already mentioned that, but we are also the, the developer of the solutions that we are going to show now. Um, and uh, as you can hear, maybe from my accent, uh, we are located in Austria. Okay, the future is going to be electric. This is uh, one of our yeah, opinions in terms of uh, building installation. And uh, before we start presenting the solutions, I would like to deal uh, with the topic itself uh, at the beginning. So we have uh, to make the transition to renewable energies. We have to and we will succeed on that. Um, and to do so, we need all the storage capacities that are available. The battery in a residential building is just the most common way to um, store excessive PV power. It's easy to understand. We have um, solar PV power, we have electric power, so we want to store it uh, in an electric, electrical storage in a battery. Uh, but typical storage capacities in a residential building, a, they are somewhere in between uh, 5 kilowatt hours and 10 kilowatt hours. And um, yeah, Juning will excuse me, uh, this um, is uh, still an investment that is uh, not completely low. As a cheaper alternative, we can uh, use excessive energy for hot water heating, for example. This is the business from my PV. And as we can see, when we heat up um, a hot water boiler, let's say of a 300 liter volume to a certain uh, temperature level, we can store 15 kilowatt hours of excessive energy. And so this is now clear. My PV can be a cheap alternative to battery systems. Yes, but we do not compete with batteries. We have many very successful um, yeah, compatibility partners uh, from the battery side and Grobat is one of them. And uh, if you combine both technologies together, you raise your PV self-consumption ratio to a maximum. In combination with Grovat, it uh, does not matter if there is a battery or not. It works in every case and this is one of the benefits when you combine our two brands. And uh, then I would like to talk a little bit about the energy demand in a single family home. As a manufacturer, we are also supplying a residential or um, um, yeah, multi-story buildings actually. We are also supplying um, industrial projects, but uh, this slide here is mainly about residential uh, PV systems. So most of the people in Europe um, use 4000 kilowatt hours of electricity per year to power their electric appliances and their uh, illumination in the buildings. And they are in most cases aware of that because they have to pay the energy bill. But uh, they um, hardly ever know that they require nearly the same amount of energy for hot water heating. I'm talking about a four person household now. We need approximately 4000 kilowatt hours per year for hot water heating as well. And with an on-grid PV system, 
We can easily cover also this energy segment um, to the most uh, part of the year with excessive PV power. And um, yeah, what uh, we have to explain in some cases is the uh, principle that we are working with. Because the people, they see a direct electric heating element, let's say an immersion heater or an infrared panel or an electric heating mat in the floor. And they are thinking about, um, yeah, this is not very uh, ecological, this is not very economical, uh, this is um, yeah, dirty energy from coal-fired power plants or something. But this is not what we do. We use direct electric heating elements, but my PV controls them linearly according to the amount of excessive PV power. So the most part that we are using is excessive, clean and free energy from your own roof. And this is the only part that we are using unless you activate the optional boost backup. So all the energy that uh, needs to be um, supplied for backup, let's say during bad weather conditions or during winter time, can be from the battery or from the power grid, but this has to be activated on our device. The factory preset is that we are using excessive energy only, so energy that would be fed back, back into the power grid. And the rest of the remaining uh, heat demand can also be supplied by a biomass boiler, by a heat pump, by a district heating system. This does not matter to us because we are just feeding a boiler or a storage tank. And if another heat source is feeding the same tank as well, it does not matter for our application. So the boost backup from the power grid is always an option. And the factory preset at my PV devices is that it's deactivated. We are using excessive power only when you combine our product with Grovat uh, systems for the first time. Good. Um, it's all about raising the self-consumption ratio. We want to keep the energy in the building. We do not want to feed it into the power grid. And I'm using this slide quite often. It's uh, from the Technical University in Berlin. And here we see the self-utilization ratio for a single family home uh, with a 5 kilowatt peak system, for example. And uh, what we can read here is that the self-utilization ratio uh, for a normal system is around about one third. The rest of the energy would be fed into the power grid because energy production from the roof uh, happens not at the same time when we have demand, let's say in the evening, for example. That's completely clear. So the normal way to improve the system is to install a battery. And uh, see there, we increase the battery, uh, sorry, we increase the self-consumption ratio to around about 66%. And this can be done with the Covert system. Uh, Juning will tell us uh, more on that. But uh, actually, I have to say it once again, uh, we have, um, yeah, not completely marginal uh, investment step here. So the alternative would be to install a MyPV solution to use excessive power with um, for hot water heating, for example. This uh, is possible with Grovat and MyPV combined, but also when there is a battery from Grovat, this works. And then you can increase your self-utilization ratio even higher to more than 90% in this example. Um, when we are controlled by Grovat, uh, the sequence, the order of uh, the usage of excessive power is very uh, great because we are using the excessive power for uh, charging the battery with priority. And this is very important because once it is heat by my PV in the hot water boiler, we cannot get back electricity out of it. So on the yeah, physical side and then on the economic side, uh, electric energy is, has the most uh, value, the highest value, much higher than heat, of course, because this has the lowest value. The, so priority when you, for the usage of excessive power is always uh, on charging the battery. And this works very well with Croat. We have figured this out ourselves in our lab. And this is really a very fast and accurate control. Okay. Um, MyPV um, is uh, offering solutions for hot water from PV for many years now. We started our production story in 2014 with a product called Elva. Uh, this is actually a PV uh, immersion heater. It's uh, for DC current, so you can directly connect panels there, and it's a very easy and very successful solution. 
Today, we want to talk about on-grid systems. So we are talking about AC solutions that use the excessive power in an on-grid system. And here we have uh, to deal with the question, uh, how much excessive power is available? This is something that changes all the time because PV production on your roof changes all the time. Um, that's completely clear. But at the same time, you're also switching on and off the loads in your building. And the amount of excessive power, the amount of power, which is too much, changes all the time. It's changing permanently. And now the purpose of my PV uh, becomes clear. We have to adjust the power output on the electric heater accordingly. And we have to adjust this very fast and very accurate. And all our products are able to do so. So uh, in one second, the immersion heater is powered with uh, 2,347 watts. And in the next second, it's powered with um, 1,300 watts, whatever. Everything in between our power range is possible. And this is the essential feature for power to heat applications with PV power. And this is the basic, the core know-how from my PV. So um, one way to detect the excessive power in the feed-in point is a device called my PV power meter. This um, is uh, installed next to the utility meter of the energy supplier. But the big deal here is now that you do not require this my PV power meter for the combination with Grovat because Grovat can supply the excessive power information to MyPV. So we can uh, forget the MyPV power meter. We do not need it. And uh, Grovat is um, supplying us with the information that we need. And again, I have tested this personally, and this really works very fast and very accurate with Grovat. Good. It's all about a product named Actor. And I have one device here next to me. And when we introduced the actor in 2017 for the first time, it was uh, misunderstood by many people because they uh, looked at this device. They, have, they saw that it has a color touch display. And uh, in, the first, in the first second, they immediately thought about a smart home system. But actually this was wrong. The actor is not a smart home system. It's technically speaking an AC power controller. It's a power stage. What can we do with this power stage? We can connect an electric heating element to this power stage and we ensure that this electric heating element becomes PV ready now because we can do the linear power control now. Without an actor, an electric immersion heater would be switched on and off and nothing in between. So full power or no power. We are now controlling the power linear on this immersion heater. And this means we adjust the power output according to the amount of excessive power. I have mentioned it uh, with Grovat. This works if there is a battery and when there is no battery. This is uh, very um, beneficial. So you are completely flexible when you combine our brands together. And uh, there is um, also an um, online calculator on our website to do plannings uh, on your um, yeah customer requests actually this is a tool it's very uh it's really making fun to use it because it's very easy to handle uh, but it's a it's a serious uh, tool i recommend to use it because uh, it helps you to do a planning of uh, the system that you are offering to so you can adjust a location there are many locations on the globe available you can adjust the pv system with the inclination the orientation the power of course you can adjust if there is an EV that has to be considered. You can adjust the volume of the thermal tank. This is very important for us. You can also adjust if there is a battery and if yes, how much capacity does the battery have? And um, it helps you to get an idea of the possibilities, of the improvement uh, possibilities, because you can add uh, various um, yeah, um, variants and uh, you can compare these variants with each other. So you can immediately see 
what an improvement is possible when you add a MyPV device to this system. Uh, what improvement is possible on the self-utilization ratio, what improvement is possible on the independence ratio. You can also do an economic calculation with this tool because you can adjust uh, prices for heat and for feed-in tariff and uh, for electricity rate when you import from the grid. So. Uh, it's very easy to handle and it's really uh, a great tool to figure out what is possible on, um, yeah, on increasing the self-consumption ratio. Good. And here is uh, the first variant of the Actor. It's a single phase variant. It comes with a European main socket, but uh, for international markets, it's also available with an international adapter here. So the load can easily be installed even without a European mains plug. And uh, what is uh, important to say are the unique sales features of the actor. So number one is the size. It's very small. Uh, it's, it's extremely compact and this is a three kilowatt power stage. So the second unique sales point, it has a color touch display. I'm always telling at this point when you're able to uh, set the timer to wake up tomorrow morning on your smartphone. You can also adjust the optional boost backup with this, with this display. Uh, and you can do so without taking the manual. So it's very easy and, and um, yeah, uh, easy to understand and self uh, explaining. So unique sales point number three. Everything on the bottom here is pluggable. Not only the load, also the communication is pluggable. Uh, and uh, one temperature sensor is always supplied with the actor. It's also pre-wired on this orange plug here. And when the device is installed, as we can see it on the right side of this slide, over a, a cover, a cable channel, as we say in Germany, as in German, then all the the wires and the and the cables they are, cannot be seen because because they are covered uh, from this channel and then it's it looks smart and it's installed in a way that we recommend to the installers. So this have been three unique sales points. I have one more for you. Uh, we are open for third party control, and this uh, makes this successful story with Grovat because one way to give the excessive power information to the actor is the MyPV power meter. And we have many um, compatible manufacturers that are communicating with us as well. Usually the communication happens via Ethernet here. So this is the most common way, but it's not the only way to communicate with the actor. With Grovat we use uh, a mod RS485 connection. But this is also possible and very easy to install. And here we have the pins on this eighth pole plug where there's also the, uh, the temperature sensor wired. And um, for the combination with Krovat, uh, we do not need more than this RS485 connection. Optionally, you can also connect it to your Ethernet router and then you have access to the web interface of the actor as well. But to combine the actor with Crobat, it's not necessary. This RS485 connection is uh, completely enough. Okay, it's a three kilowatt power stage. And um, here is the international version with this uh, mains plug uh, adapter. And here you see also the temperature sensor, which is pre-wired on, um, on this orange plug here. Uh, this is a small pin, like my pencil here. It helps you to uh, to click on the on the touch display. Good. And then there is uh, the technical data. I already mentioned our way or our power control range. It's from zero to three thousand watt possible with the actor. And uh, there are all the technical details that I already mentioned. Um, and um, you will receive the slides of the today's presentation after the webinar. So you can um, completely relax and go one more time through the slides, read all the details if you like. The only thing that I want to mention here is um, our way to communicate with Grovat. It's uh, again RS485, while the standard way would be with uh, Ethernet, but um, you have all the advantages also with this other uh, hardware wiring. Then the second uh, variant of the Actor is uh, the big brother of the product. It's uh, the so-called Actor 9S. 
and it's a three phase uh, nine kilowatt power stage that I'm going to show you now and uh, this is not a mistake from my side that we are using the same picture here on the right side of the screen we really achieved to put in a nine kilowatt power stage into this uh, same box so the power density is really unique now. There is no other competitor product that gives you a nine kilowatt power stage of this small size. And even uh, if due to the fact that this uh, three phase product, we kept everything on the bottom here pluggable. Of course, what disappeared is this European main socket here, but uh, also the three phases here can be plugged. And now we are completely flexible in terms of the load because uh, we can connect a three phase load there, but we can also connect uh, three single phase loads there. Because one of the most uh, advanced beneficials of the Ecto 9S is its ability to control each power output, each one of these three power outputs separately linearly. When you take a closer look on competitor products that are offering um, three phase power stages, you might see that they are actually only controlling one and the same phase linearly. And actually they are just switching on and off a second or a third phase. The Ecto 9S works in the same way. What can we do better is that we can change the separated phase from output one to output two to output three. And uh, now we can use, uh, we can also use three single phase loads um, and uh, control them linearly. For example, a three kilowatt immersion heater, a two kilowatt electric heating mat and a one kilowatt infrared panel. It does not matter. The Actro 9S is able to handle these loads. What is important to say is that the communication uh, connection to Grobat works exactly in the same way as for the single phase product. And when you use the Acto 9S for retrofitting on an existing electric load, you have to be aware of one detail. What we need on that load is the neutral conductor. The connection is always uh, a star connection. It's not a delta connection. This is very important to detect the nominal power of the load. And if you do so, the uh, Acto 9S can of course also be used with a, let's say, six kilowatt load. It can also be used with a 4.5 kilowatt load. As long as there is a neutral installed, we can detect the nominal power of the load automatically. There is not even an adjustment necessary on the actor. It can uh, detect this uh, by its own and use uh, the load accordingly. So very easy. And the overall power range is from zero to 9,000 watt. So the Actor and the Actor 9S are great solutions for retrofitting of existing electric heaters. But for all of you who are interested to get all the um, units, all the devices um, um, from one hand, uh, from a one-stop supplier, uh, we can also offer uh, immersion heaters um, to you. So there's a three-phase a uh, nine kilowatt immersion heater and there's also a single phase three kilowatt immersion heater as an accessory part for Actor and Actor 9S. If you're interested in these accessory parts, we can also offer them to you. And then you have the security that all components uh, fit together perfectly. Okay, Actor and Actor 9S advantages. I think I have mentioned all of them. Uh, what I have not mentioned is uh, the setting for the Grovat communication. We already talked about the hardware wiring. So it's an RS485 connection with three wires here at the bottom. And on the display in the menu, you can choose Grobat as a signal source. And this is very easy, uh, just a few clicks and then the communication is implemented. Um, if you connect the actor to an Ethernet, to an uh, Ethernet router as well, you also have access to the web interface. So this is not necessary for the combination, but it's a feature. And also on this web interface, um, can um, Grobat can be selected as a signal source. And there are many other uh, possible settings, uh, much more than, uh, than are available on the display, of course, because at some point you are limited with this small size. And on the web interface, you have much more possibilities to configure uh, the actor units. 
But um, before I hand over to uh, to tuning again, um, actually you do not have to do adjustments. Uh, you only have to wire the RS485 connection here and you have to select Grovat as a signal source on the display and that's it. So all the other um, possible settings that I mentioned, they are just benefits. It's not um, necessary to install the device um, with with complex adjustments. It's very easy. And uh, at this point, enough from my side. Um, yeah, Juning, the stage is yours now. Thank you very, thank you very much, Ryan. Um, yeah, I'm going to yeah, introduce you or present you our product right now. Um, the, yeah, the devices that are interesting for uh, for this application are our, our, our uh, hybrid devices as well as our batteries. And as Ryan had said already, these batteries. Um, are not necessary. Um, my PV works with Brovat uh, without battery as well. So um, it's an addition, not uh, a necess necessity. So um, yeah, we've got three different kinds of um, hybrid, solu hybrid solutions. Um, on the one hand, we have got the SPH, uh, 3000 to 6000. This is, this is a um, single phase system. Um, then we got um, the SPH, um, three phase solution which uh, ranges from 5 to 10 kilowatts as you can see uh, on the numbers here and there's also an up version uh, yeah which is just marked with the up at the end um, as well as our spa inverters um, which are just ac coupled uh, solution if you want to integrate a battery um, yeah speaking of batteries we've got two versions of uh, batteries uh, on the one hand we've got um, our ARK a low voltage battery, the LV stands for low voltage, um, which are modular batteries, more, more of that later. Um, yeah, one modular block has got a 2.56 kilowatt hours and uh, it can ranges, range up to 25.6 kilowatt hours. Um, as well as the high voltage battery, it's also a uh, 2.56 kilowatt, uh, kilowatt hours per module and uh, you need three to start with and can uh, it can go up to 25.6 uh, kilowatt hours so okay let's continue um this, these models um are just in comparison as as i said already um we've got the single phase solution um where it only has one phase it got uh two um it got two mpvts with uh two Number uh, with two strings that you can uh, plug inside, um, and type two, uh, type three SPD, and also a an, uh, backup function in EPS. Uh, EPS stands for Emergency Power Supply. Then we've got the same thing as a three phase um, inverter, hybrid inverter, ranges from five to ten kilowatts. Um, got it got uh, two MPPTs as well, and also two strings you can plug uh, in. Uh, in these two MPPTs, um, yeah, and uh, this one got uh, a Type Two SPD on the DC and AC side, um, and it's also equipped with an uh, emergency power supply uh, that's optional. And um, this is the newest product, the SPH um, five thousand to ten ten thousand TL3BH minus up. Um, yeah, it's uh, the power range is the same as the um, as the previous model. Um, it's also free phase system, uh, about two MPPTs uh, with two strings uh, <clears throat> that can be connected to each MPPT, and it got a uh, Type Two SPD on the AC side. The one of the differences is the backup function is not an EPS function, but rather an UPS function. Um, UPS. Here stands for uninterrupted power supply. So, yeah. Um, more to our batteries, um, two different versions. Uh, <clears throat> the LV version for uh, stands for low voltage, and the HV version for high voltage. Um, both of them are very similar. Um, each model has 20, <clears throat> 2.56 kilowatt hours and uh, can go up to 25.6 kilowatt hours for the people who are just so much into batteries. Um, both of them uh, are consist of uh, very uh, safe and uh, cobalt-free uh, lithium-ion 
phosphor, oxygen, four, uh, whatever uh, batteries. So um, you don't have to worry to put something like this uh, in in the basement. And uh, both can be uh, upgraded remotely uh, in case something is broken or uh, you need new functions. Um, yeah, the low voltage battery is um, compatible with the uh, uh, with the single phase inverters, and the high voltage battery is compatible with the um, free phase inverters, hybrid inverters. So um, yeah, as I already said, the uh, design is modular, so um, you've got a block of battery which you just put on top on, of the other one. Um, this way, uh, the customer can decide later on if he maybe wants to expand his battery, if he wants to um, yeah, get more battery, if he's just uh, not keen at the beginning and just uh, want to uh, want to experience what a battery is like, and if he is um, if he is. Uh, satisfied with the result, you can just uh, get another battery block, put it on top of that. Um, here you can see how uh, how the cable management is. It's super super easy. We've got uh, color matching cables. We've uh, there's a little there's a little line for the communication in between for uh, for the communication between the modules, and yeah, that's it. And uh, here uh, you, it's not it's not in the picture yet, but um, this is just the power supply from the uh, inverter to the battery. So um, the, uh, the installation is very, very easy. And um, this is special for the app version. Um, here you have got a typical, very <laughs> easy and broken down um, PV, PV system. We've got uh, 10 kilowatts on, on top on the roof uh, that's just producing. Um, Let's say you've got uh, five, five kilowatts of um, yeah, users in your house. Um, so um, the other five kilowatts go to the battery or to the um, to the to the MyPV um, system, and the remaining uh, five kilowatts can be split up uh, asymmetrical into the different different uh, phases of the house. So uh, before it was just symmetric. So um, just for example, you've got uh, six kilowatts uh, that's uh, excessive, uh, six kilowatts of excess, uh, excessive energy, and that would be um, just um, distributed evenly between the three phases. But right now, uh, now you can just if uh, L1 needs three kilowatts, you can uh, yeah you can uh, just put uh, uh, three kilowatts in L1. L2 doesn't need anything, so uh, it's just it's just empty and the uh, uh, free is two kilowatts and uh, so you uh, and just get the two kilowatts so um this is new the new feature of the up version the new main feature so um yeah as i had already said um this uh, uh, this is a little graph how you can see a typical um typical uh, time progress of solar um Thing about solar is um, it's <laughs> it it produces the most energy when people are mostly not at home. So um, logically, um, the sun goes uh, yeah the sun will rise around six a.m. Um, the, and uh, <clears throat> the more sun there is, the more energy the solar system produces. But uh, around nine a.m., most people are at work or not at home at all and um, the surplus energy is, would go just to waste. Uh, of course, you can uh, you can uh, sell it to your grid operator, but uh, it to me it doesn't make any sense to sell it to a grid, a grid operator for eight cent per kilowatt hours and then buy it back in the night um, for thirty one cents per kilowatt hours. This is, these are numbers in Germany at the moment, so. Um, the solution, uh, there are different solutions, of course. Uh, one solution would be um, saving it in a battery, but, um, or you can use, um, yeah, a MyPV system to uh, convert the energy into uh, warm water. So, um, yeah, as I, uh, as I had already said, um, it's not necessary to uh, get a battery. It's um, 
additional, it's an additional feature. Um, yeah, here you can see how the system is connected uh, to the MyPV system. Um, yeah, the, the video will be uploaded uh, to YouTube later on, so you don't have to take notes, just uh, pause the video at this point. For the SPH, um, single phase SPH, it's uh, these pins, pin 5, 4, and 7 uh, for A, B, and ground. Uh, for the uh, hybrid system, the free phase hybrid system, it's uh, the RS485 with pin 7, 8, and 2 for the ground. And for the up version, it's um, the RS485 minus 3 port with, the, uh, with pin 5, 1, and 2. Um, yeah, um, my PV has got a very neat feature, so um, you just need to connect the right pins and then uh, just uh, choose Growbot on the screen and then it's all done. You don't have to worry about anything. And uh, as I heard, uh, the controller, which is yeah, controlling the MyPV system is that uh, works exceptionally well with the Grover system. But um, yeah, so this is just the anecdote. Um, for the more, um, Grover offers uh, a Shinephone app as well as uh, monitoring uh, on your web, in the web browser. Uh, on the app, you can just see how much your uh, system produces, how much goes into the battery, how much load consumption you have and how much it's reported to the grid. You can um, yeah, get all kinds of details as uh, time progress over the day, how much energy is used, how much comes from the uh, PV system, how much you, you export it to the, uh, to the grid, how much you import from the grid. And yeah, uh, it's also available for the web browser. It's a little bit, a little bigger. So you, uh, the graph seems a little bit nicer. Also, um, in case you've got uh, your internet connection drops in between, um, the data is not lost. Uh, the the um, inverter has got a little memory on itself, so up to one month as far as I know. So um, all the data is uh, stored and uh, safe for a later upload. Um, yeah, and we've got also an online smart service, um, which is mostly for an installer and uh, yeah, also retailers, where um, the installer can see which uh, how many who, how many how many inverters are installed, uh, which um, inverter is uh, reporting any failures. Um, the uh, the installer can remotely uh, set. Uh, modify parameters, uh, do firmware upgrades, and and just just reduces the need for on-site traveling, which saves a lot of manpower and um, most probably probably um, money, and yeah, which then uh, decreases the maintenance cost. So um, I think this is quite a unique feature for growout systems. Um, You've got uh, if you if you decide for if you decide if you that you want to grow the system, you can have an overall system provider and uh, the overall uh, system from one supplier. So you've got the inverter, the battery, um, an ATS, which is an automatic transfer switch, in order to use the um, EPS or UPS function. You've got the monitoring, which is um, by the way free. Uh, you just need to have uh, a grow it inverter. So no subscription needed. The app is uh, the app is free as well. We've got the smart meter that uh, it's yeah for the controlling of the uh, house load and the battery, and you've got the app uh, which can be downloaded uh, in Google Play Store or the App Store from Apple. So yeah, um, and also we've got a very good um, customer service. So um, this is number for the hotline uh, in case you need any quick questions. You have got any quick questions, you can write an email if the question is a little bit more complicated. Um, if you want to attach any pictures, uh, service.de at grower.com. And um, our warehouse is in uh, yeah, close to Frankfurt, 15 minutes away from Frankfurt, Hessen 83. Um, in case you need any replacement units, uh, it can be it can be sent out within Europe, <laughs> within Europe, within Germany. So um, no need to wait for long uh, if you need, if you need, just in case you need it. 
Um, yeah, um, for any questions, uh, you can ask our Germany manager, uh, Mr. Wu, Tian Wu. The email address is here. And um, for any technical question, after sales question, uh, this is my email address. You can yeah ask me. So um, now I'm giving back the scepter to Reinhard. All right, thank you very much, Chuning, uh, for this impressive uh, overview of your solutions. And um, yeah, all the products that you have seen today can be combined with each other. So there are many uh, inverters from the Govat side, and there are two products, Actor and Actor 9S, available from MyPV to uh, get in combination with Govat. And together we uh, have the idea of increasing the self-consumption ratio. We want to keep the energy in the building. We want to avoid feeding into the power grid. By the way, uh, more and more energy suppliers or grid operators, actually, uh, they do not allow feed-in. In many uh, other countries, we see zero feed-in. Uh, it's permitted to... Uh, or there is no permission to feed it into the power grid at all. And uh, then this uh, whole topic immediately becomes interesting. Keep the energy in the building, store it wherever you can, in the battery, in the hot water boiler, in the storage tank, or even in the building mass by using an electric heating system. What is always essential for electric heating is, is uh, as I mentioned, the linear power control. And this is the core know-how and the feature that MyPV is offering to make electric heating PV ready. Good. Uh, information is online. Uh, not only the manuals and not only the marketing materials, but also uh, the wiring diagrams, for example. So uh, already before you have made the decision to buy a MyPV product, you have the chance to inform yourself about all the installation details that are interesting. And this is available for everyone. This is free. It does not even uh, require a, a login or a registration on the website. Everything here can be downloaded. Also records of the webinars, for example. It's the same for YouTube. Uh, there is our channel. Uh, we are feeding the channel regularly with new uploads. And one uh, thing that is my, that might also be interesting for the first installation is uh, the actor commissioning video. Uh, there we used a small camera right uh, above the, the display of actor and we recorded how uh, how few steps um, are required to do the commissioning of an actor. It's really very easy. I give you some good tips and tricks uh, on this. Um, yeah, it's uh, actually in German, but um, the subtitles on YouTube are pretty good. And I bet you, you get a, a good feeling and an overview how this um, um, yeah, installation works or can be done. Good. Uh, MyPV is um, a manufacturer. We are not doing uh, end customer business. We are selling our solutions via um, installers, via resellers, but mainly uh, we are wholesalers. And we have a very good and uh, quite well developed uh, distribution network in the German speaking countries, uh, Switzerland, Austria, where we are located in Germany. And uh, we are increasing our uh, distribution network in other countries as well. This is what uh, Talal is working on. If you are interested in getting in touch with you, in, if you are interested in um, increasing uh, business together in your country, then please uh, just uh, get in touch with Talal and we will find a way to do so and to um, yeah, start business in your location together. Okay, summary. Um, power to heat is always the simplest way to increase the self-consumption in an on-grid system and uh, the actors can very easy be combined with Grovat. This is what we wanted to show you today. I hope we succeeded on that. Um, yeah, we uh, sell our products via wholesalers and uh, specialized retailers. And here is again Talal's email address. If you um, want to have the price list, if uh, you have a request for us, do not hesitate and get in touch with us. We are looking forward to your contact. So, feedback. Um, I hope uh, it was easy to understand for you today. If not, please give us um, yeah, professional feedback either in the chat or via 
email. Once you have my contact data with the slides in a few minutes, uh, you can also directly reply on that email and um, you will get in touch with me. And um, yeah, of course, um, I'm looking forward to uh, professional feedback. We always want to uh, increase um, the quality also on this, um, yeah, on this channel yeah it's it's a one way communication actually i'm talking to the camera right now but it should be easy to understand for you and i hope uh, it was uh, mainly it was clear today what we uh, presented i hope so and uh, if not please do not hesitate and tell me what i can improve um yeah actually um there has not been a single question today, which is really surprising to me. Talal was on standby to answer your questions, uh, but we can uh, discuss questions also later on. And uh, then at this point, it's up to me to say thank you. Uh, Juling, you can also reconnect yourself. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for the participation today. And uh, wherever you are, stay healthy and um, yeah, all the best from my side here in Austria. Thank you very much. I want to, th I want to say thank you as well. Um, yeah, just on behalf of Grover, thank you for the partnership. Thank you for the um, possibility uh, to have um, devices, uh, to have yeah, just the, uh, the possibility to work with each other. And and it was a yeah. pleasure joining. It was the second time for our team play. Mm. Um, again, it worked <laughs> perfectly from my point mm. of view. So thank you very much also to you and your team in Germany. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah. All the best, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, wherever you are, have a nice afternoon or evening or uh, a nice day. Thank you so much. Goodbye.